from minute one to minute 90, it looked like their team wanted it more than we did. Um, and we've been preaching the same message to our team for many, many years now, which is if they're not going to be fully committed to the game, they will not get results. Uh, and tonight they, they came in about 75% and thought that that was going to be good enough, and it clearly was not. So Jason, you think the final score was going to get the effort I, you know, I think that there's some things that happen in the game that can kind of sway the result. We have some clear-cut chances to score that we need to take. Uh, if we take them, then maybe we're looking at a different result. But at the end of it all, I think that the score is fair because the effort just wasn't good enough. It, it seemed like throughout the game, Minnesota was extremely well-organized defensively. Did you have the same impression as well? Absolutely. Uh, we made that very clear to our, our players yesterday that this is going to be a very, very organized defensive team. They're going to be difficult to break down. They're a team that hasn't lost a game yet this, game yet this year for a reason. And, you know, the same thing was true for us. It was a, a difficult game for us to break down. They put tons of players in the middle of our midfield and, and really challenged us to do something different. And we struggled to sort it out. Uh, but tactics are one thing. I don't think we sorted out the tactics. The other part of it is, is that they just wanted to win more than we did, which is embarrassing. And I think that we, need, we owe a debt of gratitude and apology to, first and foremost, to our ownership and to the management for for pulling strings and working extremely hard to get the match here. And we owe an apology to our fans because that uh, was a terrific crowd tonight for an Open Cup match, um, and we've let them down miserably. Jason, uh, a lot of MLS teams went down tonight in Open Cup play. I think that, uh, guys, use the microphone, please. <coughs> Thank you. Uh, do you think there's any reasoning behind that why so many MLS teams went out tonight? I, I think that it's best for me to be concentrated on my team. Um, you know, it's hard for me to say what happened in the other matches. Um, but again, MLS teams need to recognize that if they're not going to put their best foot forward, they could lose to anybody. And we've had indications of it here just shortly a little while ago with a draw against BYU. So we will go back to the drawing board a little bit and we'll make sure that everybody on my squad right now recognizes that there's only one way to play and that's to give your best. And if you're not going to, you need to stand up and you need to move aside. I know you said you were going to try and put your best lineup out there. Obviously, a spindle that didn't play tonight. Is there a, a he's, he's too injured. Yeah, I was hoping that he would come healthy uh, today, enough to play 15 or 20 minutes. Uh, but talking to him and the trainer before the game, it was literally if we wanted to use him, we might have, have been risking losing him for a long time. So I just wasn't prepared to take that risk. Certainly not when we were two goals down. Jason, you mentioned needing to advance, partly to get more minutes uh, for your guys with the next game. What do you do with this kind of break? Uh, the honest answer is I don't know. Uh, I didn't want to plan for that before tonight, uh, but we are going to plan it now. All the coaching staff is waiting for me, uh, as well as the trainers. And we are going to look at the next, I think it's two and a half weeks, three and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, that's a long time. I said this once before in my coaching career, and I'll say it now. I would not want to be a player under me right now. Jason, can you talk about the reason behind to knock a sub at halftime? Uh, I thought he was struggling. Uh, I thought he was struggling to, to find the game. The ball was there for him a lot to make better decisions with the ball going forward. Uh, he wasn't getting it done. Uh, and then he looked a little bit hamstrung defensively as well. Another player that's coming off a slight knock. So it was, you know, he looked fatigued and he didn't look sharp.